Troy Nazaravich, uh, Investor Relations Manager with Fortune Minerals. Uh, we're a publicly traded company. We trade on the Toronto Stock Exchange, and we've got two advanced projects. We've got the NICO Gold Cobalt Bismuth Copper Project in the Northwest Territories, and the Arctis Anthracite Project in British Columbia. We've got two advanced projects, as just mentioned, the Arctis project in British Columbia. We had a significant field program this year, uh, basically to help us advance the environmental assessment in BC. Uh, we had a 30 person camp uh, in place and was concluded late in the summer. Uh, we have to go back in uh, next summer to complete that work, but we're advancing through the environmental assessment process here. Uh, the NICO project in the Northwest Territories is the other significant asset. Uh, very importantly, we received the federal government and Talichal First Nations approval for the project mid-year. Um, and where we are now is working uh, with a strategic investor, Procon, uh, to basically complete project financing. We hope to start construction this year. We have significant insider buying in the past year. A uh, big part of it was due to maybe the valuation. We had about a million shares in total among various executives bought between 24 cents uh, and 50 cents at the high end. Uh, and as I mentioned just briefly, the Procon strategic investment, uh, we saw a new insider on board. We had a private placement of 29 million and uh, a little over 29 million shares that was bought by Procon. Uh, so now insiders own about 37% of the shares outstanding and we're working with Procon to uh, basically advance project financing. The most significant catalyst would be this project financing, uh, where we're again working with Procon uh, and their parent company, China Camp C Engineering, and we hope to have news on that nearer term. If successful, we'd be starting construction this year. Uh, nearer term, we're hoping to hear news on our refinery in Saskatchewan. Uh, we completed public hearings late last year, and we're awaiting the minister's uh, decision and approval for the project. Uh, I say a lot of the guys here today are probably worth admiring. It's been a tough few years, uh, so anybody with cash on the balance sheet and projects moving forward are probably worth looking at.